So, I'm about to know. Guys, Chester and Carolyn want a meeting with us. Morning. 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 Morning, everyone. Glad you decided to stay, Jasper. Glad to be here. So, you guys ready for your next assignment? Well, get your bags and passports ready. You're going to be traveling for this one. You'll be visiting a village school. Do you guys remember the social enterprise named Zaya? They're the ones who developed a tech-based learning platform for the schools in low-income areas. And the winner of our inaugural DBS Social Venture Challenge. Businesses can and should be a force for good. And we want to give social enterprises like Zaya all the support they need so that they can grow. Now it's hard to deliver social impact and be profitable at the same time. That's why I want you to go there to assess their business model and see how we can help. Hi, I'm Dina from Zaya. So, how was your trip? Long. And wonderful. I'm Claire. These are my colleagues, Jasper, Ria, and Michael. It's nice to meet you all. Come, the children are expecting us. <laughs> The biggest problem facing schools in low-income areas is the lack of access to high-quality education. Come on, I'll take you inside. This is the Zaya Class Cloud. It's a cloud-based wireless device through which the students and teachers can connect and get personalized, interactive lesson plans. Now, what's really cool about this is that lesson plans can be completely customized to each child, and it uses their data to identify the areas that they need the most help with. A Zaya system only costs one US dollar per child per month. I wish they had this when I was a kid. Lina, let's go. Let me introduce you to the village chief, come on. These are bankers from DBS. They're here to find out more about the learning system I've been testing at the school. Oh, Zaya. Yes, I'm May I know why? Sorry to inject. Dean has just shown us the Zaya system. We think it's a fantastic tool. It's going to greatly benefit all the boys and girls. Wait, the girls don't go to school here? <laughs> keep calm. No need to make a scene. No, I will not stay calm. This is nonsense. Girls go to school too. Usa. Usa! Probably back off for a bit and come back when conditions change. You mean when he stops being a sexist jerk from the Middle Ages? Good luck. He's not a bad guy, just a bit traditional. Besides, it doesn't help that his weaving business closed down recently. What do you mean? He owns the weaving business nearby. It's the lifeblood of this village and the main reason he was elected village chief, but business hasn't been doing so well the past few years. So without the weaving business, his position as village chief is gravely threatened. And the last thing he needs is a group of outsiders coming in and changing things. Exactly. Without his blessing, there's not much I can do. Why can't we just take this issue to the entire village? If they agree with us, maybe they can force his hand. My experience working in small communities tells me I can't just force the issue. Looks like we came all this way for nothing. At least we got some shopping done. I have an idea. I don't quite follow what you're proposing. What does the weaving business have to do with Zaya? 
Well, if we introduce some of our garment manufacturing clients to the village chief, we believe we can dramatically increase demand for his woven fabrics. Then we might have a chance to persuade him to agree to Zaya for the school. Killing two birds with one stone. Precisely. <sighs> Give us a minute. Okay. All right, listen. Let me just say that your plan is in the right direction. But I'm afraid you're just not thinking big enough. While leveraging our network can help to generate demand, what the weaving business truly needs are digital tools and analytics to enhance distribution. We could take their business global by putting their woven fabrics online. And improve his supply chain and inventory management with real-time data. If we could make the village chief see what technology can do for his business, maybe we could get him to agree to adopt Zaya. Now you're getting it. We can help here at our end, but the question is, will he agree to our supply chain solution? <laughs> We've got a chance. I have a request. I respectfully ask you to allow girls to go to school. Your granddaughter, Ayaya, she's a really smart and curious girl. She came up to me once and asked me where I was from. You should have seen her face. The way that she lit up with the world out there. But then she told me she better not ask anymore. Because Grandpa would not be happy. This is not the choice between tradition and modernity. It's about giving Ayaya and the others like her a chance at a better life. So... Do we have a deal? She does like yeah. So when can we expect the products to go online? Fantastic. You got it? You got it. <laughs> I can arrange to have him send you a sample by Thursday. Will that do? I'll be putting them in all my flagship stores. It's great news, Mr. Lim. I'll put you in touch with him directly. Guys, I have an announcement to make. I've been thinking about these past few days and I've really fallen in love with what Zaya does here. Seeing the kids holding the tablets and expanding their worlds, it's an amazing feeling. So, I've decided to stay here and join Dina at Zaya. I'm gonna make sure the system is fully up and running before I move on to the next school that needs my help. You sure about this? I've never been more sure in my life. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. I'm gonna miss you. I miss you too. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Guys, come on. It's meant to be a celebration. <laughs> Looking at how we have made a difference in this community these past few days is hugely gratifying. I now realize that as part of a purpose-driven team, 
we can create lasting impact in the lives of real people and real businesses. And I sincerely hope our paths may cross again one day.